All right, so Google is doing it. Google is finally moving Google Docs to canvas-based rendering. Google is ditching document object model. Does Google hit HTML? Why is this the next step for Google Docs? Let's find out in this video and explore what this change exactly means. So first things first, what exactly does this mean? What is this? What are we talking about? So obviously you would have used Google Docs at some point or another, or if you have not used Google Docs, it's just like Microsoft's MS Word. So you can create documents online that if you know about internet, so internet is a technology which enables you to connect to various services. And Google Docs is one of the services which you can use to create documents. Now what Google is doing is, interestingly enough, they are moving their canvas, they are moving their docs HTML based approach to canvas based approach. Now, what does that mean? Let's take a look at a typical Google Doc, which we have, um, you know, in this, in this section as well. So what Google is trying to do is if you have a standard Google Doc like this, you know, we know that this is a web page, we are accessing it via web, a URL. And we know this, these are like standard HTML elements, right? or are they? What Google is trying to do is that maybe if this was a, you know, if this was a div or a span or whatever, which was rendering on your screen, instead of using document object model, instead of making this as a div or as a span or as a, you know, any other tag like H1 with some class name of blue and text size this, which results in this large heading, what Google is trying to do is that it's gonna create this as a single canvas, you know, canvas which we use to create HTML5 games and stuff like that. If you have not really seen any canvas, what you can do is just try to play any game um, on the web, which is built using HTML5, and it's most likely using canvas, right, under the hood. So canvas is just a fancy paint board of the web, right, where, where JavaScript completely controls it, and you basically have control over each and every pixel. So instead of using hypertext markup language to describe the markup of how the page should look like, Canvas more or less gives you the control on, you know, a, a blank slate on which you can draw and can, you know, control every single pixel. So that's what Google is moving on to, right? So that means Google currently uses HTML based rendering approach and they are moving on to this new canvas based approach where they will be simply drawing your Google doc on a canvas instead of an, instead of writing these multiple HTML nodes. And whenever you interact with it, you are actually interacting with that canvas. Why did Google even tell us this? Because Google thinks that it will break some Chrome extensions which work with the DOM structure, the DOM API. Um, so Google wrote out this blog post and uh, yep, I mean, this change is not live yet. Google says that will slowly migrate from HTML to canvas based APIs, a uh, rendering engine over the course of next several months. But the implication of this is that now at least what the Twitter feels like people developers on Twitter is that Google will probably release a canvas based rendering system and it will probably make it open source let's hope and when google does that what that will allow developers what that will allow people to do is use canvas as a replacement to document object model that is dom that is your regular html so you might as well be able to create flexbox layouts or even grid layouts or you know even more fancy stuff with html5 canvas instead of the regular DOM and the CSS. And it might upset, upset some people because, you know, the people who don't really like injecting JavaScript where it is not applicable. And it seems fair enough, you know, because DOM HTML is very, very fast, uh, faster than JavaScript. So it doesn't make a lot of sense for any application which can be written just in plain HTML to use JavaScript, but Google has different, uh, you know, different demands and they also, lay down a couple of reasons why they are doing it. So they say that, let's see, they have said somewhere we will continue. Well, that's, that is accessibility, but 
somewhere right here, they say that, yeah, to improve performance and improve consistency on how the content appears across different platforms, right? Because Google Docs has to be present on mobile devices and different browsers and different operating systems. So they might have different, different issues with them. But what this might lead to is people starting to exploit Canvas API and, you know, making use of more JavaScript wherein HTML would have made more sense. That's what uh, developers are debating over on Twitter. But my personal opinion is is probably nothing uh, drastic would be happening as such. You know, we will still stick with HTML, CSS and the good old tools. But I want to know your opinion on this. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Google should stick to HTML based rendering approach or is this canvas based approach something nice or something you might would have want to see? Because at least this will uh, this will lead to some exciting announcement and some exciting releases from Google's end as well on the web. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, you know, leave your feedback in below, leave a like that helps the YouTube algorithm the more we learn and subscribe to the channel. That is all for this one. And I'm going to see you in the next video.